Also, something else a lot of people are missing in gold recovery is just straight up old cell phone screens. I mean, let's take this for an example. It's an old uh, iPhone screen. The LCD and the digitizer is bad. And that's all well and good. But what a lot of people are doing is they're throwing, just throwing it away. And I'm going through dumpsters and I'm finding these all the time. And look on the back. Gold here. These connectors here. Have gold pins inside it. Inside there. Have gold pins inside it. There. And even down here where this little piece is, that little that plate's on, that has them. Now remember, it's not a lot, but how you've got to think about how many people actually break their screens per year. And if you work for a screen repair company and you're throwing these away and not ripping off these little tabs, you can rip these tabs off. And either put them on eBay or do the things that everybody does and process them and make a little extra cash. That's what I'm starting to do. Something else I just noticed while I'm pulling this up, I have, sorry for the fingers guys, grabbed this and I pulled and the digitizer came up and it separated so if you pull away the digitizer and you look underneath it there's a whole strip that goes all the way to the bottom and with that strip that goes to the bottom I was looking and there's this piece here right at the top. It's hard to get it in focus, I apologize. But this piece here, and it looks very similar to like a crystal oscillator. Uh, I'm going to pull it off and do some investigation to see what it is. There may be gold underneath it because of the way that thing sits behind it. There may be gold back behind it. So, worth investigating. Remember I was showing you this thing that I, was, that I pulled up. So, if you flip it over. This so we get a better picture of it. But as you can see right here on the edge, under my, right there at the nail, there's little bitty fingers that's underneath it. And you can see it right there as well. So, yes, it is very minute. But again, if you're doing hundreds of cell phone screens, um, you know, a month, it's worth possibly looking into just finding a little bit of gold here a little bit of gold there um save it up and process it at one time just cut all these out i mean it's worth every penny right, let's go to ipod screens as you can see it's a ipod and if you look very closely. It's kind of hard to get it in focus. There we go. There's fingers. If I'm correct, if you have the button, sometimes you can move the button over, sometimes they come with it. But the button has, it's a connector, so it's going to have, it'll possibly have silver in it as well. So if you save that for silver recovery but as you can see it has the fingers there so you can throw in now also on top of this is you have this which it has fingers or it has a connector which has gold inside it 
and there's going to be some icy chips in here maybe a small icy chip or even um either tantum capacitor or of that nature and usually there's more through here so again recovering if you're doing old screens ripping these off and putting them just put them in a a little box and just save them up and then trim them down after you know after the end of the day or you know save them up for a month or save them up for a year and then trim them down and process them or save them up for a year and then put them on ebay you know it's it's free money you're you're gonna throw it in the trash can anyway here's the thing after i pulled it off and gold under there oops dropped it gold under there you see it left a little bit of gold so I can get in there and kind of pry that up but it's under the glass so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a lot of it because I don't want to cut myself but you see how I pulled up there just fine then I'm just going to pop that off and pop this little piece off here and go from there not exactly what this came off of I'm not sure if it's a laptop or a small um, tablet or anything, but one of the things I was looking at is it's got a really, really cool connector with a lot of gold pins in it there, but then I'm also looking at it here, and it's got a really, really hard protect or plastic protective coating over it. So what I've done is I started to cut it away and I see that there's gold fingers underneath it with chips, with an IC chip, also with tantalum capacitors and um, MLCCs. And then there's some gold pins there as well. Um, so... I'm going to pull all of these off and then take a look and be back in just a sec. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the back plastic off and this is what it looks like underneath. So all the way through there. And it's got that hard... Either it's aluminum or copper. I can't tell which. And the reason why I say it may be copper is because I pulled it back and tore it open. And this is what I got. And seeing that, it could be aluminum, it could be copper. But this is what's inside, on that side, on this side. MLCC, tantalum capacitor, it's got a little um, four-sided chip, which is really small, of course. But then you also have your fingers. Um, I completely understand that... A lot of folks are sitting here thinking, you know, well, there's just not enough there to do it. But again, if you're working on these things and you're taking out monitors, you're taking out um, screens for cell phones and tablets, it's costing you nothing to save them. Once you get up a good amount, instead of throwing them away, put them on eBay. You'll have folks that'll buy them. If they if you put a lot on and you sell them for ten bucks, it's ten dollars you didn't have. I don't see them going for that little, but you know you never know. All right. All right, so I was pulling up the display, and I'm looking at it, so I flip it over. So on the back side, there's flash gold here, here, here. So it's very similar, if not exactly the same, as what's in an LCD monitor, where the one side has all the chips, the other side doesn't, and it's just got the flash gold on the back and probably on the front as well. Um, again, process it, cut, a, cut it up, drop it into your MLCC or 
or into your um, muriatic acid or whatever and go from there. It's a quick quick drop. You're not going to lose anything. You can cut it up into, you know, little small pieces. It'll come off just as quick as well.